Okay, we're going to start from the bottom. Eight centimetres, we've got an angle. That's opposite. This one here is adjacent, and that's hypotenuse. We don't want O. We haven't got O. Okay, so we've got our so ka toa. With the O, we cross off those two. So once we've decided it's ka, we drew our little triangle, like so. And so we know that we're trying to find a hypotenuse, so we go H equals A over cos theta. So A is 8 and cos 34. So we get our calculator out. We um, go into run. We go sine of 30, make sure it's 0.5, shift, set up. We don't want angles and radians, we want it in degrees. Now it's 0.5. So 8 divided by cos 34. So that's 9.6 um, no, 9.65. Okay, so this one here is 9.65. Now we need to take off 2.5. So we've got 7.15 here. 7.15 plus 3.6. Okay, so let's have a look at this length here. 7.5 plus 3.6. So I need to add that 3.6 on, and I get 10.75. Is that right? 10.75. So now I'm looking at that triangle. So this here's the right angle. That's the 11, and that's 10.75. That's opposite. That's hypotenuse. That's adjacent. I'm trying to find adjacent. I don't have the opposite and I don't need the opposite. So again, those two don't count and it's car again. But this time, I am trying to find the adjacent. So adjacent equals cos 11 times the 10.75. Okay, so I go cos 11 times 10.75, and I get 10.55, that's 10.55. Then I need to take away that, and I need to add that to get that new length here. Alrighty, so that should get you started. Now, once you get up to the top of this trig pile up, how long is this side? There is a prize. Okay, done.